everyone, my name's Renee and this is my cash dipping journey. If you're new here, thank you so much for taking a chance and clicking on my video. I hope you decide to like, subscribe and stick around for a while. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your ongoing support. I hope everyone had an amazing Christmas, a wonderful new year and it's been... I hope it's been a good year for you so far. Um, I am on leave so that is definitely... <laughs> definitely a bonus in the 2024 beginning of the year so today's going to be a bit of a bits and um video i have some happy mail i'm so sorry if you sent it a while ago for some reason i am not being notified when i have mail in my mail in my po box so i don't know how long it's been sitting there um one of them is dated the 4th of november <laughs> so um it does look like it did come from international so um, that can be like two, three weeks. And then I have an amazing one from Vicky. And then I have something from Caracash. Now, the Caracash one, I didn't order anything. Um, she, something is going on in the background, which I can't talk about. And I haven't got, I didn't get her permission to open that on camera. So I'm, what I've done is I've pulled out what I needed to. So I have opened it already, but she sent me some amazing freebies and I wanted to share the freebies that she sent me because she's an amazing and beautiful human being. Um, so I thought we could open up my happy mail. I do have three three items of happy mail and then I thought I would launch some new products I am so excited oh my gosh so happy mail we've got the one from Caracash which I think I'm gonna open first and then I've got one from Kimberly um, it looks like from st. Paul and I think that is that Minnesota MN um, and then I've got one from Vicky so I might open Caro Cash's one first. Put these ones um, just here. Now, as I said, um, we are organizing something in the background. Um, I didn't get permission from her to open this on camera. So I've opened it already, pulled out what I needed to. Um, and then I discovered that she had sent me some beautiful freebies. So I wanted to share those with you. So her package, packaging is always so beautiful. Um, so she's got her usual card. And then this is different since I ordered last. She's got like a tearaway slip. That is so freaking cool. She's so fancy. So yep, yeah, there's the caraway, there's the tearaway. So it's the happy hobby savings challenge. Save a hundred dollars. I am definitely gonna use these because I um I'm really loving the small challenges this year and using them to fund my other envelopes. And then she sent me the Hearts Funhouse. I was actually going to go and purchase this one. Um, I'm just waiting until I can save up a bit more money because um, I am really trying to put myself on an Etsy um, freeze this year just because I have, from when I was doing the shout out Sundays, I have so many challenges. I'm never going to get through them if I keep buying them. Although in saying that, I literally just went on to Liz and Les because she launched a whole bunch of new stuff and I went and bought more. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, <laughs> so she sent me this beautiful challenge. I can't wait to start this one. Um, I probably won't follow the weeks. I will just randomly stuff it as I can or it might be something I do towards the end of the year because they are quite high amounts for me like 30 35 dollars like that's push 20 dollars a for a week is pushing my budget so um the only other option is if I do like the 15s the 20s the fives the tens and then I go I wipe that off fill in the bigger ones and then start again so um that I might have to do that if that's easier so the second one is from Vicky. Now she sends me beautiful cards every Christmas and every birthday. So I'm hoping that this is what this is and I think it is. Like look at these cards. Like oh the detail. Hoping your home is filled with the spirit of the season like look at the detail like it's got a white layer and then it's got this khaki green and then 
this bit here is all embossed with like reindeer Christmas it's got presents it's got decorations like written and then she's got another layer of the car key it looks like another layer of white and then she's got this gloss um, Christmas present type print then she's got another layer of car key a layer of white and then she's this looks like it's like actual glitter that she's like she's embossed the the card and then she's filled it with glitter and then this beautiful tree um, I've actually fallen down the rabbit hole of card making on TikTok I don't know why but um, like the work and the effort and the time it takes to make these beautiful cards is just unbelievable and I'm so thankful when I get every single one from her because they're always so beautiful so she's got two Renee we wish you a Merry Christmas from Vicky from Vicky the bubbly stuffer so she does have a YouTube channel so head on over to the bubbly stuffer and then good luck for 2024 and I've taken inspiration from your videos to the five dollar coin <laughs> Yeah, I think a few people are calling me that now, the $5 queen. I do stuff a lot of $5 notes. <laughs> but it just shows you that um, even if you consistently stuff $5, it, it adds up. It does. It really, really does. And a lot quicker than what you think it's going to, I'll tell you. So thank you so much, Vicky. This is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Um, this is her information. I hope it's okay if I put her mobile number on there, but um, she does have a website where she sells like the packs to make these cards. So it comes with everything in it and you just put it all together. She also has a Facebook page um, and I've actually watched some of her lives where she's like making cards and it's really soothing to have in the background as I'm working because um, I just listen to her chat away. Um, yeah. So I really like it. Thank you so much. It's absolutely beautiful. And even though it's Christmas has passed, I'm still going to display the heck out of this card. Um, and then I'll put it away somewhere safe with all the other ones. Because I do keep everyone's happy mail. <laughs> I do keep it. I don't I don't get a lot of happy mail. But the ones I... When they come in, I... Um, I put them away so that they're safe. Okay, and this last one. Now, I wasn't expecting this one. I didn't order anything, so this is going to be a complete, complete surprise. So, just roll it in glitter. Let's be friends. Um, so, let's see who this is from. I'm hoping that it's okay if I um, put this on camera. I might re just read some of the letter just to see if it's okay. But we can take... Oh, the kitties. Uh, you can tell she sent this in. She, I think it's I think it's from the US, and it was sent in November. So having something Halloween makes a little bit sense. Look at the kitties. Oh, look at the kitties and the ghosts. That's so cute. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, let's read the note. And then we'll go through what's in there. So, to let's be friends, just roll it in glitter. I hope you have a good Halloween and a lot more. Here is a friendship bracelet. Love, Kimberly, Steve. I can't read that. Oh, is that Crystal, Tabby, and Prance? AKA the cats. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Oh, what a wonder, what a beautiful card. So let's see what goodies are in here. So we've got a rainbow. Oh, look at the kitties. <laughs> and then we've got another kitty. And then we've got a puppy. I wonder if her uh, the, those like her what her animals look like. Handmade with love, especially for you. Oh, this is so cool. I'll leave the bracelet for last. So 
so she's got a whole bunch of little stickers in here so she's got woo she's got a cat with a pumpkin got a spooky ghost got a bat and then another bat and then she's made handmade a friendship bracelet <gasps> I wonder how that works because I have really big hands so I don't know if I'm going to be able to because I don't want to risk like stretching it or breaking it I have really fat hands so <gasps> no it fits oh it fits now listen I know it sounds a little bit stupid but as someone who is plus size it is really hard for me to get like jewelry and accessories that fit I know that I know it sounds really 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 strange to be so excited about that it fits but um, I don't buy them I don't buy jewelry I, it because it doesn't nothing fits um, unless I go to a specialty store and they're always so expensive so the fact that 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 this fits is just amazing so thank you so much this is so beautiful it's got it looks like it's got like brown pink blue like a coral color so and then it's tied on here so thank you so 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 much um i did pull the address off that card so you will be if you're watching this you will be hearing from me soon but oh thank you so much thank you um i probably won't wear this all the time just because I'm terrified that it will get damaged and the wear and tear um, but I will definitely definitely be wearing it um, for special occasions and maybe when I film um, on and off so thank you so 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 much I appreciate that oh I can't even tell you um, in Australia, we don't surprisingly we don't really celebrate Halloween. Halloween's not really um, like we've lived in our current home for like 13 years now, and we've only had a trick or treater once, <laughs> um, and we weren't prepared for it. So my husband gave the poor child, well not the poor child, the poor parents gave him a block of chocolate, like a whole block, because <laughs> that was all we had at the time. Um, but yeah, it is kind of starting to creep in here. Um, but yeah it's really not like a really big thing here but thank you so much Kimberly I really appreciate the message from you and the pets <laughs> Tabby and Brands I love cats I love kitties so thank you so much I am going to leave this on for the rest of the filming and then I'll probably um, put it somewhere safe. So I thought I would do a product launch as well. Now I've actually got quite a few items. Um, I do need to, I am kind of changing up my whole Etsy store and how I display the physical and the digital items. So I'm in the process of doing that transition. So um, I do still need to photograph all of these and then upload them to Etsy. But these are the things that will be coming out in probably within the week. Um, I do, I am still trying to upload the 2024 savings challenge pack. I'm just, I'm having a few issues. Because um, I'm, as I said, I'm transitioning to a whole new thing. So it takes a lot of time. <laughs> um, so yeah, so the first thing I am releasing is I'm releasing new trackers. So, um, my old ones I include in my, um, whenever I send a package out, I send the old ones, it's got like the big black border and everything. Um, they're very, very similar. I just thought that this was a more updated version and a bit more on point with my brand right now. Um, I seem to be going through a bit of a transition. <laughs> so I have, it's got budget tracker, then it's got the envelope what your goal is, the date, whether you're plusing or mining it, minusing it, and the balance. So I've kind of taken out the column that said category because, um, or like description, I can't remember which one it was, but I was never using it. I was just putting a mark in it and leaving it. So it was just a bit of waste of space. So um, that's what it looks like. Now I have started using them myself. So if you give me one second. So this is my high priority binder. So see how that's, that's what it looks like. 
so I've got this for the house deposit my goal is 30k and then it's got the date how much I've added and what the current balance is now if I was to take money out of this I would do it in red so I would put the date um, I would put the amount I took out and then I would put the new balance all in red um, you could do it in red and green so when you deposit money you can put green when you take it out you can do red um, you can just use the plus and minus it's completely up to you I've seen I've seen these filled out a couple of different ways so yeah I'm gonna do them so that they come in packs I might do um, I might do like pack of 6, 12, um, 18, like 24, things like that. Because um, I think most people have at least 6 envelopes. Um, and I don't want to be like doing random packs that they have to buy more than they need. Um, like if I, for example, if I did like 3, 6, 9, like it would just be a hassle for people. So... That is the first item off the list. Now, everyone really, really liked my low income challenge where it was all $5 and then you could do it five times and it equaled $250 by the end of it. So each time you completed the challenge, it was $50 and then you did it five times and it was $250. So I've actually made, I think I'm going to make a whole range of them come out in packs. Um, so this one is the seasonal low income challenge so we've got hello autumn hello spring hello winter and we've got summer each one has ten five dollars on it and then you can do it five times which equals 250 and the whole thing is a thousand dollars so if you did it if you followed it as it was um, done on the the challenge so if you did it 50 and then you completed it five times and then you completed all four of them that would be a thousand dollars by the end of it and I thought breaking down big challenges into small chunks makes them a lot easier and a lot less overwhelming like if I handed you a one thousand dollar challenge you it would be hard even for me and I I have a good job with a decent wage um, but if I say hand you these four and say okay that's $50 and if you do it five times like if your budget allows you could literally put in $50 and do it over five weeks or five months or whatever you want but yeah so I thought that was really cool so these will be up as a physical item and I think a digital one I'm not quite sure yet um, but I think I'll do both just because with how many people are struggling with money right now, I never want anyone to put themselves in a financial position because they're buying my products. So if I can have it both as a physical item and a printable one, um, I'm going to try because the printable ones are always going to be way cheaper because I don't have to take into account like printing, lay, um, laminating, cutting, doing the corners and then shipping them. So. Um, I'm, I'll try, I'm definitely going to try and do that. Now, I am also releasing my princess and villain packs. So the princess has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So the princess has 14. So we've got Cinderella, we've got Ariel, we've got Belle, Snow White, Tiana, Rapunzel, Milan, Merida. Anna, Elsa, Pocahontas, Moana, Jasmine, and Aurora. And then that is complemented by the villain pack. So I think there's one less in here because in this one, Anna and Elsa have the same evil person. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, it's got 13. So we've got, because I tried to match the princess with the villain. So we've got Gaston, we've got Evil Stepmother, got Ursula, Tamatoa, uh, Governor Ratcliffe, Jafar, Maleficent, Maleficent, wait what? Maleficent, Jeez Louise, Hans, Shanyu, Mother Gothel, Evil Queen, Boo the Witch, and Dr. Facilier. So. I think I'm going to put these in the same listing. You can either buy the princess, you can buy the villain, or you can buy both. Um, so 
they I will be releasing both of these packs like I said hopefully they'll be up soon it's just I've got to take the time to photograph everything and figure out the lighting and things like that and now <laughs> I've left the best to last I swear I have so I was I don't know what I was doing but I stumbled across something on Amazon and I swear to God, I started laughing uncontrollably and I couldn't figure out why. I just think it's hilarious. And I'm like, you know what? That would make the best savings challenge on the planet. So what I've done is I actually made a pack of duck savings challenges. So we've got duck off, we've got get ducked, we've got duck duck goose, and we've got oh for duck's sake now you want to know what makes this challenge brilliant are you ready are you ready I don't think you're ready <laughs> they're little rubber duckies I got a pack of a hundred of these suckers I'm tempted I've got to be quiet in case Les wakes up I am tempted to hide these around the house. It's only that I would worry that Evelyn would find them and choke on them because she still puts everything in her mouth even though she's nearly three. But how awesome is this? It is a mini rubber duck. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so I'm gonna put numbers um, one to 20. There's gonna be 20 that comes with it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so what I'm going to do is for the o, for o duck's sake, you'll reach into the bag, pull out a duck and whatever number is on it, that's how much you save. So that one's, it's really simple. Then the duck off one <laughs> is you get all your ducks. Give them a bit of a shake. Now, however many are standing up, so one, two, three, that's how much you char, you times it by. So for example, if I had this as a dollar, so every single one standing up would be worth a dollar. So for example, in that roll, it would be three dollars. So I would color one in and put in three dollars. Now, if I wanted to roll again, you can and you can do it as many times as you want it's very similar to um, syndicate budgets with her piggies so what have we got that time I got another two so for example if this was me I would put this as a dollar I'd roll the ducks do it twice and then I've got five ducks so I would put five dollars in this one <laughs> I'm dug off my, my husband got in on this we were in the car and I opened up the Amazon package and of course I burst out laughing because it's a hundred mini <laughs> rubber ducky and he's like oh for god's sake woman and then I was explaining to him what I'm going to do with it and he's like oh for duck's sake <laughs> and then we were doing duck puns the whole way to the grocery store so a lot of this is his fault um and then um, get ducked is just like just a challenge like one to um, no it's equals 270 and that's including the bonus ducks so the it's the highest one is $25 and that's one of the bonus ones so but if you wanted to you could do like five of the five dollar ones scratch it out and do a 25 then do it again 25 like if you wanted to break it down and then finally we've got duck duck goose so we withdraw a duck so I I haven't put numbers on all of these yet because it takes so long I've got to try and see if I can find a cheat um, on how to get the numbers on them quicker because it takes forever so say for example you'd withdraw a duck you go from start and you move one um, if you land on a duck, save the number on the bottom of the duck you choose. So I got a five, a one. So I would probably put a five dollar note in. And it says if you land on a goose, um, okay. So how many um, 
you allocate to a goose. So say for example, I picked a duck, I landed on one, I landed on the duck, I save a dollar. Now say I land on a goose and I want every goose to be $10. If I land on a goose, that's how much I save. Sorry, I had to read the instructions because I made these very late last night. <laughs> so we'll do that again. So say I pick up a three, so I'd start here. I'd go one, two, three. And because I landed on a duck, I'd put in $3. Now, because I'm in Australia, I'd probably just chuck in five. Now, say, for example, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Say I picked a seven, I'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I landed on a goose, and I'd allocated goose to be $10. I'd put $10 away. So this challenge will come with these four, the four challenges and then it will also come with 20 numbered ducks. <laughs> I thought that was so cool. I don't know how popular this is going to be but I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> like when I say I have a bag of mini ducks I'm not lying. Are you ready? <laughs> Look at them all. Oh I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Uh, what are they? What's that saying? Uh, simple things amuse simple minds. But yeah, so yeah, you'll get a, you'll get um, the four duck savings challenges and a bag of ducks. <laughs> okay, so that is all that I am releasing today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for my beautiful happy mail. I really, really appreciate it. Remember to live, laugh, love, and when life gets hard just rolling glitter or buy mini rubber duckies. See you guys.